Suppose a number of years ago the client invested $16,000 at a rate of 9% compounded annually. If the investment is currently $20,968.25, for how long has the client held the investment? Well here we should be able to apply our formula for n and calculate the number of compounding periods that the investment has gone through. Filling in our future value, principal amount, and periodic interest rate of 9% compounded annually, we get the following. And what we're going to do in order to use our calculator to simplify this fraction is we're actually going to start inside of our logarithm and apply the logarithm after we've evaluated all of the numbers inside of the brackets. So for instance, inside my numerator, I'm going to start with my 20,968.25. I'm going to divide by 16,000. And then hit enter. Then I can apply the LN button. Inside the numerator of our fraction is about 0.27, but we are going to keep all of these decimal numbers as we move into the denominator. I need to divide by 1 plus 0 0.09, so that's 1.09 apply the logarithm to this, and then hit the equals button. And we get that n should be about 3.1379. Since our frequency number is 1, our original rate was compounded annually, this means that n represents years. In other words, the investment has been held for about 3.14 years.